Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the uneven berry stitch, which is the stitch that you see here. The berry stitch is similar to a puff stitch uh, except it differs in that it's a little bit more dense and that has to do with the construction of it that you will see very shortly. This is a very densely worked fabric. Uh, it's not a huge huge yarn eater but it does take up quite a bit of yarn. So if you're working this in a larger project you'll want to factor that in. This is what the back looks like. It has a fairly clean uh, line design and then the front of it is very very textured. I just love it. So grab your crochet hook and your yarn and uh, let's learn how to make the uneven berry stitch. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you haven't already please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel which can be done so uh, by pushing the little button in the bottom right hand corner of this video and uh, that way you will be updated whenever I upload a new stitch tutorial or free crochet pattern video. So uh, today for our uneven berry stitch we're going to start by chaining a multiple of two stitches. So start by making your slip knot. And today I'm going to start by chaining 16. Once you have your chain, however long you would like it, and a multiple of two, so today I've done 16, you're going to single crochet in the third chain from your hook and then in each chain to the end. So you're going to count in his first chain two, three. So single crochet in that third chain and then single crochet in each chain all the way to the end of your row. Once you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now when you're working this design, your chain one is always going to count as a slip stitch. It's going to count as the first stitch. So for row two, you're going to skip that first stitch where your chain one is coming out of, and then you're going to work a berry stitch in the next stitch. To work your berry stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through the first loop on your hook. You will have three loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over again, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then you will have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw through all five loops. On your hook and that is your berry stitch. Next you're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch and then you're going to repeat berry slip stitch berry slip stitch all the way across. Once again to work your berry stitch you're going to yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through one loop on your hook. You will have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through all five loops on your hook. Then slip stitch in the next stitch. Continue to repeat that all the way across. Berry stitch. Followed by a slip stitch. Now 
I'm now at my last stitch here, which I'm working a slip stitch in the top of. And then you will have come to the end of your row. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now if you take a look at the opposite side of your work, you can see those berry stitches now on full display on the opposite side. So now we are going to uh, work our next row and for this row we're going to chain one that counts as, um, as your first slip stitch you're going to, or a single crochet stitch, you're going to skip the first stitch that you've worked out of, and you're going to slip stitch in the top of the next berry stitch. So you're skipping that first stitch, you're going to slip stitch in the top of the next stitch, and then you're going to single crochet in the next. So you're going to continue that pattern all the way across and this is going to bring you to the other side because you always want your berries to be on the same side. So we need this return row. So single crochet, slip stitch in the top of the next berry, followed by a single crochet. Slip stitch in the top of the next berry and single crochet. So repeat that all the way across. Remember to complete your last stitch in that first slip stitch at the beginning of your row. Single crochet and slip stitch all the way across. So I'm back at that chain one and I'm going to work my final single crochet stitch in the top of it. And that is the end of row three. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And now we are going to start working another row of berry stitches, but once again, we want, uh, we want them to be staggered. So we don't want them to be set right on top of one another. So we have our first chain one, which counts as a slip stitch. So you're going to skip that first slip stitch, uh, for that first stitch, and you're going to slip stitch in the next. Berry in the next stitch. and slip stitch in the next. And you're now going to repeat that all the way across, berry stitch, followed by a slip stitch, all the way to the end, and then you're going to have one stitch left over where you're going to work a final slip stitch. So at the end of this row, just like you had at the beginning, you will have two slip stitches. So repeat that all the way across. So at the end of your row you will complete, finish it off with two slip stitches, one in the top of that uh, berry and then one in that first chain one stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. You can see now you have your berries and they will be staggered. For the next row you're going to, after you chain one, you're going to skip that first stitch, that first one counts, that first chain counts as a slip stitch. You're then going to work a single crochet in the top of the next stitch, followed by a slip stitch. Single crochet and slip stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Remember to work your final slip stitch in that first chain one. There you go, and you're all set to turn your work and begin again. Now from now on, for the rest of the pattern, for as long as you would like to have these uneven berry stitches, you're simply going to repeat uh, rows two through two five. So that row two started with a chain one, you were gonna skip the first single crochet and then work your berry stitch in the next stitch. And then followed by your single crochet and slip stitch row, 
followed by another row of berry stitches and that's all there is to work this uneven berry stitch. So thank you so much for joining me for this stitch tutorial today. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do so through that little button there in the right hand corner. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.